In this lecture, we are going to focus on directions, which is one of the most important features in Google Maps. Basically, how to get from one place to another. This feature has been updated over time to cover several travel options. And now, for our example, let's go to the USA, and more specifically, to the Washington state, which is in the northwestern part of the country. Ah, and don't confuse with the capital, Washington DC, which is actually on the opposite coast. Now, I want to search the directions to drive between two small towns here in this region. First, I need to activate directions in this icon. Then, I can either click on two places on the map or type the names in these fields. That's what I'm going to do. For the starting point, I'm going to type Harrington. And now look at this. As this is a town in Washington state, it's not the first option that appears, because DE refers to another state, which is actually Delaware. So, I need WA, which is the state code of Washington. I'll select this option, and here it is. Then, for the destination, I'm going to choose Cheney, also in Washington. So it's this one. Ah, and look that I haven't spelled the name correctly, but it still appeared in the list. Select the first option, and the route is calculated. Now, on the top of the panel, you can see these buttons where you can choose between different types of transportation between these two places. The one selected with the car symbol is traffic, and it's what we will focus in this lecture. Then, we have options for using public transportation, walking, cycling, or flying, but it's not available in this case. Below the icons, you will see the estimated time it will take for each way. And in the first option, called Best, Google suggests the most efficient way based on the search. Ok, now we can see the recommended route by Google, which is the one highlighted in blue color. It says, it's the fastest route and it takes around 47 minutes. However, we can also select one of the alternatives proposed, either by selecting the way in this list, or by clicking right on the map. Then, over here, there is a setting which, by default, has the option Leave Now. But we can change that to set a specific departure or arrival time. For example, let's choose next Thursday at 4 pm. Now you can actually see the results didn't change much, and the estimated travel time still says typically 50 minutes. Typically means that around that time, travel might vary slightly depending on traffic or other things that we cannot predict. But anyway, in this case, the route goes through a low populated area, and the roads have generally fluent traffic, so that's why the estimated time is similar. However, setting specific times can be especially useful in larger cities, because they can vary a lot, for example during rush hours. We can also choose Arrive At, in case we know the time we have to be in our destination, as it shows the time we should leave. Now let's go to the options. In the left column, we have some route preferences. For example, we can choose to avoid highways, tolls or ferries. The tolls option is commonly used by people who want to travel more economically. As this highway is free of charge, selecting this option won't have any impact. But you might want to avoid highways anyway, for example, if I'm riding a motorbike or if I just want to drive through smaller and calm roads. Then in the panel at the right, distance units, it's set to automatic, because the map will show the units commonly used in that specific country. In our case, it's using miles because it's the standard unit in the United States. So, if you prefer kilometers, just click there, and you can see now it shows as 